addition and subtraction word problems. What are we going to do? Solve addition and subtraction word problems. So today we're going to look at our meter sticks or our centimeter rulers kind of in different eyes. We're going to use them as a number line. How are we going to use these? Use a ruler as a number line. And we're going to do that so that we can describe and represent lengths in our daily lives. Why? We can describe and represent lengths in our daily lives. Let me give you an example. I bought a house last July. I'm really excited about this house. And it didn't have any curtains on the windows. And I was like, I don't want people staring in my house. I need curtains like right now. And so I got a meter stick out and I measured the length of the window. And I, and I used my ruler, and I started at the zero, and I measured at, I think it was like 60 centimeters. So I took my measurements, and I brought them to Home Depot. And I talked to the curtain guy, and I was like, hey, man, I need some curtains for my window. It's exactly 60 centimeters. And you know what he did? He assumed that I was wrong. And he said, no, your window can't be 60 centimeters. It's got to be about... 65 because that's the normal length of windows and so what he did is he actually cut my curtains at 65 centimeters I took those curtains back to my house and My curtains were five centimeters longer than my window. So I had a window like this My curtain stuck out here And it didn't work and so that's why we are measuring and solving addition and subtraction word problems today is because if I couldn't figure out that my curtains were 60, and I, and I didn't know that he made my curtains five centimeters longer, I wouldn't have gone back to the store and said, hey, you need to cut five more off of here so that they fit. Did anybody else think of a different example from their lives? I've been asking you every day about different examples from your lives. Jason, what's an example from your life where you had to measure? I, I had to And now you have your tar because you figured out how to measure. That's pretty cool. So we're going to be dealing with word problems today. And we're going to use we're going to use the number line or the ruler as a number line to help us. Standard measurement. Those are meters and centimeters. It's measurement units agreed about by the whole world to measure different lengths. Show me with your pinky about how big a centimeter is. This is a centimeter in the United States. Is it a centimeter in Mexico? Yes. Is it a centimeter in France? Yeah. Is it a centimeter in India? Yeah. It's a standard unit of measure because a centimeter is the same all around the world. Show me with your arms about how big a meter is. Let's measure with Nicole's arms. Is it a meter in Spain? Yeah. Is it a meter in Mr. D's house? Yeah. Yeah, because it's a standard unit of measure. A number line is a tool to help us count forwards and backwards when we're adding or subtracting. You guys worked with a number line earlier this year, right? Yeah. And some number lines don't have numbers. Guess what? We can still use it. What? Yeah, That's I'll teach you how today. I'll teach you how today. But most number lines, for our purposes in second grade, they start at zero and they go all the way up. They actually go forever. Longer than and shorter than. Longer than is a fancy way to say bigger than. Say bigger than. Bigger than. Or more than. More than. Shorter than is a fancy way to say smaller than. Say smaller than. Smaller than. than. Or less than. Less than. So when we're doing our word problems today, if you find the words longer than or shorter than, you know that you're comparing and finding the difference. Say difference. difference. You're looking for the difference. Bye. Oh my God. <laughs> It's not exactly aligned. Okay. Big question for you. I'm going to have you do a think pair share. How are a ruler and a number line similar? Think. Pair. Pair. Share. They both have numbers. They both have numbers. Yeah. They both have numbers. 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 They both have numb
They both have numbers. Does anybody else have something to add? Jasmine. They both have lines. Does anybody else have something to add? James, you had a really good point. You talked about, can you tell the class? You can jump on the numbers to help you count. So they're quite similar. Do you agree? Do you have something to add, AJ? Go ahead. Not necessarily. That's a good guess, but a number line actually goes forever and forever and forever and forever and forever. And a meter stick does not because this is the size of a meter. Does that make sense? Or a centimeter ruler does not have the same length of a number line because this is the length of a centimeter ruler all the time. Does that make sense to you? All right, so let's use our number line today to help us solve.